Spider-Man? Spider-Man? Alright guys, it is Tuesday, and I'm at Target here in Martinsburg, West Virginia, and I'm here for one reason, and one reason only, and that is to get Symbiote Spider-Man. Symbiote Spider-Man's so cool. You need a black suit Spider-Man in your collection, I'm gonna go get mine right now, it says they have them in stock, I'm hoping they really do, if not I'm gonna be kinda cranky, but, I'm about to get me that black suit Spidey, let's go! <laughs> I'm gonna try something new today, guys. I'm gonna manifest these figures into my possession by getting a basket. If I have a basket, that means I have to get something, which means, in theory, that those figures have to be here. So fingers crossed, we got a basket. We're gonna go do the thing. It's figgy time. All right, guys, we've made it to the toy section, but we're going to a specific aisle. You guys know what aisle we're going to. I see it right down there, tech deck aisle. Usually where them figgies are. Ooh, no, they are not. No. They are over here. I just saw them. There's a bunch of people standing in the way, so we'll go over here wrestling real quick. Where we have ba <laughs> Where we have Otis, for absolutely no reason. Clearance Otis. Also Sid, we have Braun. Got a couple AEWs here. It looks like Hangman. Yeah, peg warmers. Bunch of Baileys up here. Keith Lee as well. Candice LeRae, Braun Strowman. Two packs. Star Wars Land. We got Lando. We got Tech. We got more Lando. Bunch of Motu up there. Some Evil Lynn right here. With Moss Man. Looks like a bunch of He Man, Skeletor. Nothing I need over here. Oof. I hate when I get a phone call when I'm recording. It just messes up the flow of everything. All right, let's go over here. Spider Man. Spider Man. We got Hammerhead up here. I see Shocker. We definitely need a Shocker. Oh my gosh, we 100% need a Shocker. Let's go ahead and get that. And then there's more Hammerhead back here. We don't need Hammerhead. Hammerhead can stay. Shocker's mine, but there's no black suit Spider Man. We may need to go ask somebody about black suit Spider Man. Do we have a. Magneto on clearance, a bunch of Mobius, 375, tons of Fantastic Four marked down to 16 bucks. If you guys have been holding off on getting your Fantastic Four wave, now's the time to do it. G.I. Joe, little kid stuff also on clearance. Got our Batgirl up there, got our Flash, got that new Batmobile, looks pretty sick. Also got Batman Hazmat suit here. And over here in G.I. Joe land we just have Black Arachnia, Galvatron, that kind of stuff. Don't see Black Suit Spidey. That kills me. We might have to uh, ask somebody. There's my basket. We're manifesting a figure into it. Let's track down the Spider-Man and a few other things real quick. Actually, let's check the shelf over here. There's no one around. There's also no figgies around. There's too much work. We're not doing those today. All right, let's keep looking. All right, dropping into collectible land. What's going on over here today? Got a Princess Bride, got her My Hero, got her Funko Pops. Got those art series turtles that are gonna be here forever and ever and ever. Peacemaker, looks like we got our normal stuff over here. A lot of Suicide Squad. Warhammer's looking pretty much the same. Yeah, let's let's walk around. Let's see if we can't find some fun stuff. All right, we're back. Had some folks in the aisle. Didn't want to record with them around. So let's check out these Jokers. Let's see, is there any more Platinum Editions laying around for me? Doesn't look like it. Looks like everything is common. They do have one of these Black Panther, Black Light Pop Tea combos in 2XL, which is kind of cool. Have some What If stuff. We've got some clearance pops over here. There's still eight bucks, which is too much for those, but it's cool to see them. We got our Encanto Pops over here. We don't talk about Bruno. We got our Monsters at Work, Sword in the Stone, Harry Potter. More Harry Potter. And then up here we have our Madam Web. First time seeing her in person. She looks great. Have a bunch of these Catwoman from Channel 6 playsets. One, two, three of those boys. Have our Turtles. NECA TMNT in full force. Plus we have our Ultimate 
McCready. We might end up snatching one of these. What's he got? He's got the Catwoman, he's got Burns, he's got Vernon, he's got Irma, and little friends. Oh, that is such an awesome set. I'm gonna find out how much this is. We might end up snatching one up. All right, let's keep walking. All right, while we're waiting for an employee to come by, I'm gonna look over here. We got our Dr. John Ham Hammond. We got our T-Rexes. We got our Camp Adventure set, Jurassic Legacy Collection. 30% off Mirrorverse. Got these Battle Cats still on clearance hanging out. Uh, I do see an opportunity to check under a shelf right there. We might do that. Really wish they had some of those new box WWE figures. Definitely been looking for Series 89 and 90 to drop and haven't seen anything yet. Let's uh, slide these bone sharks around a little bit. See if maybe we don't have something underneath. And we don't. It's pretty empty. And there's not much over here either. There's one case right here. We'll have a look under this one real quick because there's not much there. Nope, nothing at all. No, it's just garbage. I thought I saw something. All right, well, I need to wait for a Target employee to come. Uh, I do have the new Batman Bat Cycle, which is kind of cool. Got the Batman animated series Batwing. We got more Batmobiles. A little bit of a Hot Wheels selection here. That cast doesn't look too, too bad. Have some RC Hot Wheels stuff, some monster trucks, some Johnny Lightning, some muscle machines. Nothing that I need right now. Let's keep looking around. All right, so the employee says that it's showing three in stock. He can't find them, so I'm going to go try to find them. I'm going to go check the furniture and see if maybe they're hiding out in there. Could definitely be a thing. I've had really good luck in my hunt checking furniture and under panels lately, so I'm a little excited. I have a little optimism here. Maybe we can still come away with this W. Doesn't look like there. That's the wrong aisle for sure. Over here. All right, let's get in here. Let's check this furniture and see if we can't find anything at all. So far, it's not so good for me. For Target, things are looking good. Target Martinsburg is letting me down today. No wins to be had. Nope. All right, looks like I'm just taking the W on the shocker then. I think it's time I get out of here. Maybe head over to Walmart and see what kind of goods they have over there. Ooh, here's a random shelf. Let's check this out. Nope, just trash. All right, let's go. All right, well. Uh, talked to an employee and uh, we can't find them. We were looking around everywhere. Uh, we looked in the furniture. I even brought them along. Uh, we looked on the shelves. They went in the back. It still shows three in the store somewhere. They are not anywhere for me to be found. So I'm assuming either an employee has them somewhere or someone has hidden them in the store somewhere and I cannot find them. But we did get a shocker. So like not a complete bust. I really like the shocker toy biz figure. So I am all about this retro re-release. Bringing it home. Uh, let's do a couple more panel checks. We'll look around a little bit and then we'll slide over to Walmart and see if we can't find any new G.I. Joe. Maybe any new wrestling over there. See you soon. All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this one. Look how crazy this clearance is right now. DC's Batwoman. Brand new figure. This just came out like a month ago. Clearance to $7. I am absolutely going to buy that for seven bucks. The box hook has a little tear in it, but for seven bucks, yeah, going in my basket. Also got this Fantastic Four, 16 over here as well. Andros, marked down, $16. Batman, $12. Got our Battle Cats marked down, got our Aliens from Remix marked down. $5 from Man Bat. We got some Mickey cards up there on clearance. Fortnite Reboot Van for $27. Target's going through a huge toy clearance right now, and I'm here for it. Let's go take all these deals. All right, we're done at Target. Now we're at Walmart, pointing at Walmart, Martinsburg. Gonna go in, gonna look for those Alley Vipers and Bats. Gonna look for new WWE, look for some AEW. Maybe something will reach out and touch me. I don't know, maybe something, something good's here. 
I don't know. Don't ask me questions. You're watching me. I don't know. What do you expect? All right, dropping in Martinsburg Walmart. Let's see what we can dig up. Do have that NECA werewolf in London right here. It's a great looking set. We got our ghost face NECA up there. We got our Gargoyles Goliath chilling. A bunch of Space Jam boxes. Um, seeing a lot of pretty common pops. Nothing too exciting. Do have the Child's Play 2 hand-painted hand head knocker. That's cool. I have not seen that in person yet. Got some uh, foot soldiers down here. TMNT foot soldiers. I have not seen these at all. I might end up snatching up some foot soldiers. There's two boxes of them here. These are dubs for me. Oh, that's awesome. Definitely gonna snatch one of those up. Got a Shazam. Got a Michelangelo. Neck of TMNT. Uh, Avatar, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. Yeah, Pops are dead, but the Foot Soldiers, that's a W all day. Taking those turtles home. Let's go. All right, guys, we found the action figures underneath the loudest speaker I've ever heard in a Walmart. Got our Shadow Panther, Paleo Trex. Got our Beast, wow, that is not the right price. For a second, I about had a heart attack. Got our first edition Robin hanging on the peg right there. What do we got down here? We got our Eternals, got our 375s. I can't believe these are still full price. You guys are killing me with that. Got our My Hero Academia. We got our DC Multiverse. What do we got down here in Star Wars Land? Surprise, we've got Landos. Is there anything in wrestling? Do we have a wrestling section here? Did I miss it? I did miss it. And oof, just a Bray Wyatt. Bunch of basic boys and girls. And we got our Hollywood elites and that's it nothing new nothing exciting here that's kind of a bummer i was really hoping to find something we did find NECA TMNT foot soldiers though that's a win uh i got a pokemon toys down here pokemon sets i, I need to find a psyduck for space buns one of these days and make her happy got our carbonized vintage collection down here star wars vintage and that's pretty much it i think we're pretty done a bunch of demons up on the top shelf I did see a big stack of toys next door. I think they're working on pallet. Maybe I can go creep for a second. I'll be RB. Nope, very hard bust. All educational stuff and toddler toys. No wrestling, no GI Joes, nothing for me. I'm gonna grab some groceries and get out of here. I'm gonna head home. I'll see you guys real soon. All right, we're done in Walmart. We didn't find any toys we wanted, but we didn't leave empty handed. Uh, little Sleeping Collectibles bonus content. One of my favorite candies in the world are these chalky conversation hearts. Love these things. Definitely snatched up a couple bags of these. Ooh. That's another win for me today. I'm going home with my candy hearts. See you guys soon. All right, before I go home, I'm stopping at the Hagerstown, Maryland Walmart. This Walmart, listen to me. I've been toy hunting so long, I don't even know what store I'm at. Hagerstown, Maryland, Target. Now, what's special about this Target is that it's the worst Target I've ever been to. This is the Target that's closest to my house. Never anything here. They have a four foot wrestling and Star Wars section combined, which is okay last year when there were no figures, but now the figures are actually coming back. There's just no room for figures. They get like one case and that's it. So I don't expect to find anything here. We're still gonna go in and check though. I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's do it. This entire Target is like the size of a CVS. It's not that big at all. Always makes me sad to come in here. All right, guys, here we are. We're walking down the aisles, like the saddest walk ever. I'm worried about what I'm gonna come into. I stopped for nothing. Oh, the Hot Wheels look rough. All right, here we go. We got some Landos, and we have some more Landos, and that's it. Got some Masters of the Universe. Got a one Skele God up there. Do have these Jack Sparrows on clearance for $13.99. That's kind of cool. No retro Spider-Man wave. We have full price Fantastic Four here. Oh no, we don't. $16.09 here as well. Uh, do have one What If Nebula, and then a ton of AOA and Eternals. Got one Megatron down here. Got our Wonder Woman. Lots of Wonder Woman here. Not too much. Do have that pack down there for 34 on clearance. Some fakers down there. And that's pretty much it. Ugh, let's slide over to the other side and see what's going on. And we get right into this stuff. It's on this little clearance end cap. We got a Jack Sparrow. 
And then some board games, educational stuff. Yeah, this target's weak. Do have our gotcha man pops. Uh, a little tiny Gundam section. Not a lot there, but a little bit. And over here we have a Hot Wheels section that is dead. Like dead dead. Let's slide over to collectibles and NECA and see what's going on. Maybe we'll pop a couple panels. If we have time. Let's go see. I can just walk right over this target so small. Uh, we have our one division tees. We have our Wally and Eve two pack. Got our Redeemer spawn. Got our Dirtbag and Ground Chuck. Got our Christmas story pop. Our Christmas story figs. That's kind of cool. Got our Christmas vacation Clark too. Love that. Got our Ghostface NECA. Got our Suicide Squad. Got our Warhammer up there. Uh, is there any Platinum Warhammer? Ooh, as I murder everything in my path. Let's fix all that. Not seeing any Platinum Boys yet. These are so packed together though. Do see a Gunslinger spawn hiding behind that Raven. Oh no, it's Redeemer. Ah, I thought it was Gunslinger. I'm not even close. More Redeemers. Any Platinum Redeems? Nope. Just business as usual, guys. Ooh, I do see a Platinum Witcher hiding back here, though. That's kind of fun. What's the difference? Oh, I guess the bloody face. That's kind of rad. We do like that a lot. We might end up picking this up. I love picking up Platinum Editions. Just for the rarity factor. Bunch of Redeemers here. And we have a Casey Jones mask. And Terminator. We might pick this up. That's kind of a cool grab. McFarlane Platinum Witcher. And that's honestly, do you have the Harley Quinn bombshell? Do you have our Madam Web? Do you have our Doc Ox? Haven't seen any Hobgoblins yet. But you know how it goes when you're out here toy hunting. You never know what you're gonna find. You just show up and hope there's something fun. All right, I might lift some panels and find anything good. I'll be back. All right, walking a little bit further down past the Barbies and stuff, I found an end cap of Star Wars. A lot of tech, some auras. We have a Bo-Katan, zero more auras. And of course, we got our droid C-3PO's as well here. It's a very, very cool find. I love finding stuff like this. Only a couple of them. The cards are a little wonky, but I can probably smush this down a bit. Oh, now it's got a big crease down the middle. Nope, we're not doing that. Let's have a look at this one. Now nah, all these cards are creased up pretty bad. We're gonna let these hang out. I'm not gonna buy something I'm not gonna enjoy. Those are creased real bad. Letting those chill. Do you see a faker down here? We've got Battle Cat. Another faker. And some monster truck stuff, of course. And then we got our AOA stuff, which is still full price here. We're walking away from that. A couple LOL balls. Let's go. Let's go check the furniture and get out of this joint. Hey guys, before I end this video, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who are watching right now. Uh, we're nearing in on 4,000 subscribers. We're about 100 away, and uh, I'm just struck with the reality of that. Like, it's really awesome that you guys watch these videos and you turn out to be part of this, and thank you, all of you. Uh, also, updates for the channel. Uh, this Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be doing an AMA over on the FUD Inc. Discord server, and I believe on their YouTube as well, there's going to be an Ask Me Anything where people can ask anything about collecting figures, about toy hunts, about YouTube, about being a creator online. Uh, be a cool watch if any of you guys are interested in that sort of thing, so there's a plug for that. Also, I just signed a deal with another sponsor, which details for that's going to be coming out very, very soon. Really excited about that one as well. Uh, things are really looking up for old sleeping collectibles. Things are good. Anyway, I just wanted to stop by, give you guys a little update, say thank you for each and every one of you guys that take a minute or two to watch one of these videos, to hang out in the live streams, which, by the way, we're doing another live stream this weekend. Look forward to seeing you guys there. A uh, lot to talk about, a lot to do, especially with this sponsorship. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So, tune in. I'll be around. I'll catch you guys soon. If you need me, shoot me a message on my Instagram, at Sleeping Collectibles, or on my Snapchat, at Go to Sleep John. I'm around. I'm doing things. You need me. Paula. I'll see you guys soon. Later days. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Good night. Sleep tight. I hope all your collecting dreams come true. Then we drop the later days. Later days. Bye.